Hey there! In this video, we'll create a quick and simple to-do list web application with the ABP framework, but we'll be using the minimalist single layer template. So for this version of the video, the UI framework is going to be Blazor Server, and the database provider is going to be Entity Framework Core. Let's get started. And this is what we're trying to build. It's a very basic to-do list web application, and we can type in something, so make some coffee feed the cat, and for example, clean the balcony. So we can type in, and we can get the list, and we can also delete. Let's get started. So the first thing I'll do is copying the install command so I can install the ABP CLI. And I'm going to open up a terminal, and I'll paste it right here. And as you can see, it's already been installed. And then I'm going to go to the desktop, and I'll create a new folder, and I'm going to name it to do app, same as our application name. And I'll navigate to it. And right here, and right here, I'm going to copy the command that creates the application for me. So as you can see, the template right here is a single layer template, and the UI is Blazor Server. Entity Framework Core is the database provider by default. All right, it's done. Let's open it up. Let's open the solution. And as you can see, it's a minimalist, non-layered startup solution, unlike the previous solutions with the domain-driven design and all those layers. And so let's copy this command, and let's put it in the root directory. I'm going to open up a terminal right here, and I'm going to paste it right here. In that, we'll create the database and see the initial data. And before making any changes, Let's run the project and see how it initially looks. And this is how the non-layer template initially looks. Let's log in. And this is how it looks. We have the administration section right here with both the tenant management and the identity management. The tenant management lets you have your own tenant with its own identity management or you can use the identity management of this main tenant. And we also have our project settings right here. And let's stop running the project and get to work. Now the first thing we'll do is defining the entity. This application has a single entity and we'll start by creating it. Let's create a new to-do item class inside the entities folder. Here is the entities folder. And we're gonna create a new class, to-do item. And we'll paste it right here. It'll inherit from basic aggregate root, and GUID is the primary key. And next up is database integration. We're going to copy this dbset property, and we'll put it in the to-do app db context class inside the data folder. Here's the data folder, and here is the to-do app db context. We'll paste it right here. Let's import the missing references. And next up, let's copy the mapping code. And we'll paste it right here. And by that, we've mapped the to-do item entity to the to-do items table in the database. And now, after mapping, it's time to code our first migration. I'm going to copy this command, and I'll paste it in the root directory. We'll also update the database. And now we're done with the database. Let's create the application service. An application service is used to perform the use cases that we have getting the list of the to-do items, creating a new to-do item, and deleting an existing to-do item. Same thing as we saw in the example at the beginning of the video. But before starting to implement these cases, we first need to create the DTO. Application services typically get and return DTOs instead of entities. And so we need to create this to-do item DTO class inside the services and then the DTOs folder. I'm going to copy this. Here's the services folder, and here is the DTOs folder. I'm going to create the class right here, to do item DTO. It's a very simple DTO class that matches our entity with both the text and the GUID. And next up is the application service implementation. We're going to create a new to do app service class in the services folder. We're going to copy this and we'll find the services folder right here and we're going to create the class to do app service. 
and we'll paste it in right here. Now this class inherits from the application service class, which will help us implement those use cases, getting the to-do items, creating a new to-do item, and deleting an existing to-do item. And now we can implement the methods right here. We'll start with the getting the to-do items method. I'm going to copy this, and I'll paste it right here. Let's import the missing references. And next up, I'm going to copy the creating a new to-do item method. And I'll paste it right here. And last but not least, the deleting a to-do item method. I'm going to copy it, and I'll paste it right here. Now, ABP provides default generic repositories, and we've used one right here. We've injected the I repository, which is the default repository for the to-do item entity. And then we've used its methods right here. The get list async, insert async, and the delete async. These are all standard repository methods to deal with the database. Now that we're done with the application services, we can start coding the user interface. We'll start with the index.razor.cs. I'm going to copy its code. And I'll paste it right here. This class uses the to-do items to get the list of the to-do items, and then it manipulates the list after each create and delete operation. And this way, with every create and delete operation, we don't have to refresh the whole to-do list from the server. And next up, the Razor page. I'll paste it right here. And last but not least, the CSS. And by that, we can run our project. And as you can see, this is our little minimalist to-do list application. And we can type in something, for example, to-do item 1, to-do item 2, and 3, for example. So we can insert, and we can get the list, and we can also delete. And that's how to create a minimalist single layer to-do app web application using Blazor Server and Entity Framework Core. See you next time.